now we wait. In the last week, had a terrible two day long migraine. I was breaking out all over my chin and mouth. I've been feeling strangely like nauseous, but at nighttime, like every evening, ever since that migraine a couple days ago, and I'm late. Pretty clear. Hey guys, so I did take one more test another day later. I am at this point four days late. Still says not pregnant. No, not even a hint of a a second line, still not pregnant. Well, it's a few days later. I went all the way to being six days late. And then yesterday morning, I got my period. So definitely not pregnant. It is hot in here and I'm, I'm very shiny. That's okay. This moment isn't about being cute. It's about being real and being honest. I also had a pause too. I'm a lister. So over the last two days I've been just trying to work it out in my head and bullet pointing, you know, what I wanted to talk about in this video. One thing I wrote down was, you know, about, you know, me and my doctor and what we talked about with my pregnancy journey. It's, it's what do I want for my next, my next experience. I said, I want to be healthy for my family. I want to be active and play and explore the world with my kids. I want to be proud of my pregnancy journey. I don't want to hide details from friends and family this time. Um, again, I'll talk about that in, in my plus size pregnancy story. I hid a lot of things, um, information from my doctor that Josh and I were aware of, but um, I didn't want to tell my family because I didn't want them to be worried. I didn't, I didn't want the shame thinking you did this to yourself with your with your weight. I want to be proud the next time. I don't want to feel like I have to hide things leading to that. I want I want to celebrate the growth of our family next time. I didn't do maternity photos. I didn't buy a lot of cute maternity clothes because I couldn't find them in my size. I felt ashamed of my pregnancy body because I was worried that people wouldn't think that I looked pregnant. Healthy, proud, celebrate. And I'm going to use that as a mantra and it's it's what I want for my family and as a mother and a wife I want I want us to celebrate these years with our young family and enjoy them because life's too short and your kids are only young for so long and I don't want to not be in pictures because I'm embarrassed of how I look I don't want to not do activities or go places because I'm afraid of how I'll feel sitting on an airplane seat that feels tight or an attraction ride that I'm worried about not getting the buckle across on. I don't want to have it run in the back of my mind. Is there a weight limit on any, on whatever it could be, whether it's zip lining or, you know, a piece of furniture we're buying. I don't want these things to rule my mind and my world anymore. I don't want to cry anymore because I'm putting on a strong face for my family and my husband. I'm trying to to let them not see the things that bother me. I want this channel to be here as I progress towards my goals. I want to see what I'm doing as, and look back as an account of, you know, how I did it and when I was doing it and to be able to look back in the future to keep myself on track and not fall back into old habits and to spring forward into that new life. This is the announcement, guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not announcing that I'm pregnant, but I am announcing that I'm gonna be sharing my weight loss journey on this channel. And I hope that you'll 
you'll join me. I'll be posting new videos Mondays and Thursdays at 10 a.m. Eastern. Until then, I'm going to remember that I need to be striving to be healthy, proud of where I am now, and celebrating each victory as they come. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to follow along with the rest of my weight loss journey. And until next time, bye. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling.